Yo, what up, you guys? Bacardi here, and today we're going to be checking out Han Dong of Dreamcatcher and her first solo single, First Light of Dawn. And yes, um, she's back with Dreamcatcher, and yeah, man, uh, I saw a little bit of the V Live, and just seeing her with the members again, I was just like, yes, yes, the world is finally moving in its correct place now. This is the first step. This is the first step of the world finally getting back to normal. And yes, just better things from here on out. And yeah, um, yeah, she has her own uh, solo album coming out, you know. They announced that. I only watched like a brief little portion of it and it wasn't even subbed. And then the only one that I did see kind of subbed was the one where it's all seven of them. And they're, you know, talking about her releasing her solo album. So this is in Mandarin, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, please don't crucify me. But yeah, I think so. And yeah, just excited to, you know, hear her vocals and everything and just uh, hear what she what she's been working on, you know, and obviously they have their online concert coming up, which of course I'm going to watch and then to see the seven of them again, man, it's, it's been forever. But yeah, this is about her. So let's check out this song. Okay, let's go. lyrics right there. Nice. Okay, so that was my first time hearing her sing in her native language. And honestly, it was kind of a trip. I was just like, whoa, you know, I was ready for it. But at the same time, I wasn't ready for it, you know? Uh, yeah, and the lyrics on this song, the lyrics really stand out. Um, almost talking about, you know, mm, 
a sense of fear, you know, fear of maybe not um, uh, accomplishing something, fear of losing something. Um, obviously, that one line that I mentioned really stands out. I've always had some sudden enlightenment that I can't lose without admitting defeat. Wallflower, the cramped fate, God knows how hard I work, I will embrace loneliness. And obviously I don't know, you know, how much of this is like a perfect translation or whatever, but still, the lyrics on this song just really stand out, you know? The instrumental and just her vocals really had this like OST kind of feel to it. And something about this song just made me think of winter. I don't know why. Like, uh, yeah, I just had like, I don't know some snowy mountain area in my head when I was thinking of this. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of has this, um, what's the word I want to use? Comforting sort of, uh, sound to it almost. I really hope we get like some kind of music video or a special clip for this, you know, uh, just to, you know, accompany the song and kind of like, you know, give us a better idea. Maybe did she write the lyrics herself? That's something I want to know. Uh, yeah, because, you know, to me at least, uh, the lyrics are what stand out the most on this song. Uh, instrumental's really good, and like I said, it has the song has this OST quality to it that makes it just really nice and easy to listen to. Like I said, comforting, kind of like, you know, reminds me of, like, you know, winter and just, yeah. But the lyrics, just I just want to know if she wrote them or not, you know. Because if she did, props. Because I really like them. And now she has an album coming out, which is... That in itself is big, you know? Uh, yeah. Guess they've been working, you know, while she's been gone. But yeah. Uh, now that she's back and, like, you know... Uh, there's, like, more spotlight on her return. And, like, a better time to release your album, you know? Uh, I don't know when it's coming out. But yeah, I figured, you know, sometime maybe before the end of the year. But yeah. It's kind of like, you know, uh, we're all eyes are kind of on her right now uh, for like, you know, when they perform again, the seven of them together, it's going to be big. Uh, whatever album they might start working on, you know, like speaking of performing live, like even me, I'm just really hyped to see her in the songs that uh, like Scream, Boca, you know, uh, all the songs that like, you know, she's been gone. Like, remember that one performance of Scream where they had, like, someone kind of stand in? Was it the suit one? I don't remember. I think it might have been the suit one. But yeah, someone, like, stood in, kind of, like, for her, you know? And now we're actually going to see her, what I assume, do the choreo, you know, of course. Which is going to be really cool to see. It's almost going to be like watching it again in, like, just a new way, you know? Yeah. That's going to be dope. But as far as this song goes, I enjoyed it. She sounds great, obviously. Love the lyrics on this song. It's really easy to listen to. And yeah, definitely going to check out her album uh, when it drops, you know. Really excited just to, like, uh, hear uh, what she's been working on, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that'll do it for this reaction, guys. As always, peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.